Hi guys, hello, my name is Rainbe and on this channel I don't know what I do on this channel, okay? Let's just get this thing clear Right now I'm doing toy related stuff on this channel and I freaking liked it and I enjoy it and I think I'll continue doing it for a long long period of time and today in this video I just wanted to make something weird I mean it's pretty ordinary for YouTube but uh, for me it's not really so I'm gonna be reacting on my first uh, boy scarface ally sandwich that I made because can you freaking imagine that it's been almost four years since my first fun bit about um, Eli's face pairing that's so cool first fun bit that I made I made it, it was 25th of September 2013 like woo <laughs> at that time I was on season three it's only been such a long time I mean yeah compared to what but for me it was like there were so many good moments and something like that oh I love them so at that time I was a really hardcore fan of Supernatural, Perrin, Castellan, Balthazar and I made a lot of fun with about it getting me out of purgatory wasn't your responsibility I didn't deserve to be out now I'm a little bit over that pairing because one of the characters that I pretty like there he degraded I think in the TV series it's pretty boring right now I'm not that interested and yeah the pairing ended with the death of one of the characters then I began to make a lot more of um, boy fun vids. yeah the worst episode in my life of uh, supernatural fun videos Castell and Balthazar and there was a boy fun videos episode in my life so that video was about on a night like that and uh, I remember I said in the description of my video that that moment when uh, they told us that uh, Elias sent his uh, man to troll Anthony after um, Anthony got um, shot Aww. this is this is so sweet like it was the beginning it was such a small detail but it got me right in the field and that's why i decided to make fun of it about those two i like that uh, duo for a while but after that phrase i was like i need it i need it in my life to make such a fun of it On a night like thank you this, help my boss well, you know you made a friend Aww. In love I'm, like, I'm like i found the cheesiest song <laughs> No, I personally, I adore this song. I already had one fun bit on it, but it was a weird fun bit. On a night like this, I could fall in love. Sorry. The weird thing about that fun bit was, as I remember clearly, I posted it on Tumblr, and then David Wilson reposted it, and said a few words so that was a dark history of my life when i was a stalker i was a david wilson stalker i haven't got twitter but up to that i once in a while opened uh, his profile and checked some of his posts and watched some of uh, fan art and some other stuff i couldn't like anything but <laughs> A weird stalker. In this dark so what? This is so nice. I put the actual Scarface's voice of that scene. After that, in my future fun with, I put the um, worst part from the 409 because it was less um, noisy. Boss, please, boss. And after in my later fun with, I always cut it before the third guy came into that scene. And still that, that scene is so lovely with the Scarface and Anthony sitting around the table in the warehouse or something like that. So lovely. Turns a cool, nice breeze. Oh, 
on that look is so amazing. I would have just shot you. Boss has got a soft spot for you. I feel the pain in this scene. <laughs> I feel Anthony's pain. I've hid myself away from the There was a problem, boss. I see. Like I walked last with the audio of Fanvis. Judas Kiss. Judas Kiss about Judas Kiss. I have a weird obsession about one of the pairings from Judas Kiss, a new movie, 2011's movie. Give me your strength and show me Are you ever gonna make sense, dude? One day, dude. We're in this together now. We're in this together now. No one's coming to save you. You are all alone. That phrase about no one's gonna save you. You're all alone, and that. Parts of liars. Oh, that's so sweet. And oh, that's so sad when John is kicking Anthony. I wish I could have been there. Oh. And it's like Elias calling Anthony to say him that he wished he wasn't under arrest in prison and he was with Anthony. And it was actually it was. One of the gayest fun bits I made about that duo. It's okay to be gay. And uh, the thing when David Wilson said something along the lines of This sums it all. I was like, what? How this man is even real? I remember that uh, weird moment. <laughs> Oh my gosh, our favorite actor, he reposted fan arts and even some fun meets. Oh, the, the, that's the story, like, I was so pissed at him when I posted a really bad written fun meet about uh, Scarface and Elias where I tried to write about the childhood before we knew what it was like and he liked it and after I learned that there were so many mistakes and oh, that's so annoying. Another favorite fun bit of mine of all times is quite the right team. I made it one and a half months later and it was so good. It was so good. I remember I even wanted to remake it because this song. I like this song a lot. It's so amazing! At first I saw this song on a fan vid of uh, House and Wilson from House MD and then I thought about those guys and I was like, yep, I'm making it. And the thing is, when I went into this fandom... Fandom? And the thing is, when I went, I dug into this poi fandom, it was so empty about uh, Scarface and Elias. I was really grateful when after that some other artists and uh, fan videos jumped into it, but at first it was so empty, especially about our favorite duo and it was so... Thank you. Help my boss. All of my feelings, okay? And there was the moment when I thought that watermarks were pretty okay for fun with and you know sometimes they are because we make such a big deal of quality sometimes and watermarks and something else. A lot of fans, especially Russian fans, are so obsessed with it but you know, what I like about uh, English fan base of Poi etc, even if you make something pretty bad they still like it because there can't be enough of uh, fun vids or art about your favorite characters or something like that. I was like you and yes, you oh. were like me. Oh, my first attempt at um, Elias and Anthony fun talk because they were talking with each other, but we haven't shown up. That and that's so sad. We were so much alike, but unique Aww. as can be. Friends till the end. And they didn't just phrase friends till the end because it's so true. Then we were quite the right team. And right, oh. like those two and right, the right team. Why the right team? You first, haven't touched you your wine. That was that. Okay, so that was so weird scene because I. 
<laughs> okay, so sometimes I think that I make something cool, but after rewatching it, I <laughs> realized that it's pretty bad after years of making it. On that moment, when I tried to make it look like uh, Elias was drinking with Anthony in that scene and was telling Anthony that. The weird thing is, like, Anthony was with short sleeves and there you could clearly see long sleeves of uh, Carter's uniform. Very touch the wine. Oh, that's so cool! I tried to cut it for people not to notice it, but come on, that's pretty noticeable. If you don't know where to look, yeah, maybe, but then like... But in time you would trust me with the depth of your thoughts in time you trust me with the depth of your thoughts and that's so canon I was like you and yes you were like me we were so much alike but unique as can be oh that was the first time I tried to put those two sounds scenes sorry together from one 19 I guess that one 19 where there were a lot of scarfies and Elias moments. That scene with Scarface and Elias sitting right there, oh, that was so cute. And that scene from 301. Yep. And I'm feeling good. Friends till the end and we were Aww. quite the right team. I like those two men never start letting This is so me. sweet. Maybe one day I remake it to put much more scenes with them because they're so amazing and the dynamic together is so good oh i can't and another fun bit from me was actually elias and carter plus coffee so the story about it if you were in poi fandom for a long time david Madison always tried to make some posts of Oh, Anthony replied this to Carter and maybe he's got some obsession, he's uh, got a little crush on her, etc, etc. And we were like, hmm, that's so nice to hear. So once again about Anthony and the lies. <laughs> Let's talk more about that. Heterosexuality was never an option, sorry guys. I offered to kill you for Detective Carter many times. And she always said no. The thing with me was, I don't know. She was a nice character, she was a nice mother, but I wasn't so excited about her character. I felt myself a little bit bad for that. Most of my favorite characters were male in this. Oh, and also shocked. You see, uh, the thing about Poi, I'm not a racist, okay? But most of my favorite characters I liked in this TV series were with white skin. A lot of time I felt bad because I'm not liking black uh, skin characters in this TV series as much as I sh probably should. I don't think she liked me, but I liked her very much. You killed her. I guess Elias and Anthony had a theme for Carter. If not a little crush thingy, then just they admired her and thought about her as loyal and that's why they revenged her. And also Carter saved Elias, so... Also some fans were frustrated that there were not a lot of Anthony and Carter fanfics on the internet and you know, this pair kind of make me like... How would Elias and Anthony share Carter? Because they kind of had a theme for her, maybe. Oh, and soulmates. Okay, this is so cute. Because that phrase with what's a soulmate is one of the sweetest things ever. It's soulmate. No one's coming to save you, you are all alone. No one's going to save you, you are all alone. Like he told Carter. And then there is a scene when Anthony went save his boss. Well, you know, not really save, because Elias was capable of defending himself and getting free, but at the same time... It's the one person in the world who knows you better than anyone else. Ah. <laughs> it's the one person in the world that knows you better than anyone else. Can we put a dot after that phrase and make it a preview of this pairing? A credo? I don't know. Someone who makes you a better person. 
Actually, they don't make you a better person. You do that yourself because they inspire you. And that look that Anthony gave Elias in the car. The soulmate is someone who you, you carry with you forever. The one person that you carry with you forever. It's the one person who who knew you and accepted you and, and accepted you. believed in you before anyone else did. Believe or no one you. else would. Yes, exactly. There were a lot of men that uh, surrounded Elias, men from his crew, his gang, but Anthony was the only one who stayed. And also about Bruce, where the hell was he all those seasons? And no matter what happens, you'll always love him. Nothing can ever change that. Oh my god, can we put this phrase in a context? of uh, 409. You would hate me for that, but let me do this really quick. This was and no matter what happens, you'll always love him. Nothing can ever change that. And I guess, guys, that was it. If you ever wanted to see me do something like that again, I don't know, just like to talk, to ramble about some weird stuff. <laughs> so if you ever want to see something from me like that again, please do tell and yep, until next time I see you, I guess soon guys, bye!